Welcome back to Beauty Uncover, sponsored by Olaplex. I am Danielle Frank, your host. And in the spirit of Pride Month, I wanted to invite somebody that truly inspires me. And that is Mikey Halloran. Now, if you haven't heard of him, take a little look on, uh, on Google and you will find him very quickly because he had a harrowing experience when he tried to paint his house entirely in rainbows. This is in Australia. So um, when I spoke to him, it was actually at 9 a.m. on his time in the evening the night before for me. But I, I have to say, I'm so grateful for him to making the time to talk to us because he has had one heck of a journey, one heck of a journey that has everything from really understanding self-discovery to, again, trying to express himself and then have it make national, no, global news about the pushback that he got. And then with all of that, all of that put in front of him, because I don't care who you are, that's going to be stressful. How he has managed to live in his joy every single day. He inspires me so much. And I am really excited to share him with you. So with that being said, let's get started. So I have, I actually wanted you to come on here because I really, so I have my, my very best friend from the time that I was 13 years old has an absolute obsession with rainbows. (laughs) Really? All her life. Everything is rainbow. Her, everything that she buys, everything she wears, her closet is rainbow coordinated. Her socks are always rainbow. Everything. That is impressive. Like and all her clothes are in order of the rainbow. Actually, I gotta admit, I started doing that too. <laughs> <laughs> They're rubbing off on you. Well, I have to admit, it's easier to find my clothing when I do that. Mm. Yeah, totally. You know, well, at least coordinating, is. you know. Yeah, that makes but, sense. She has this fancy, she's been saving up. She wants to buy a house. And um, one of the inspirations that she has is your house. Amazing, really? Oh, she's in <laughs> love with it. Love Aww. with it. So what is your, like, I mean, first of all, like, obviously you're all about rainbows, your studio, your hair, yeah. your grandma's hair, everything. <laughs> I, so what started this obsession with the rainbows? Um, interesting question. I, when I was like 10 years old, I decided to become Buddhist. So I was at school and I shaved my head and I wore yin and yang and I used to love crystals and love like chakra flags. I mean, there's one behind me in my house as well, but I think that kicked off my rainbow obsession, um, because of the different colors of the chakras and yeah, I guess growing up and coming out and everything rainbows are also it's like it all came into right? place right yeah was- and unicorns are rainbows and i love them as well and then i have people- to ask how does your parents feel about you at 10 years old deciding you want to shave your head and be a buddhist oh they thought it was great it That's calmed awesome. me i lost my temper like i didn't react to anything i just meditated in my room on the ground it was great for them <laughs> my my son was very um he was studying a lot of Buddhism and everything. And he thought, oh, it was cool. actually, yeah, we would go to Buddhist temples. Dustin, yeah, me our too. mutual friend would come with us. He would take us really um, on Sundays. Yeah. They had, they actually had a lovely thing there. It There's one in the town over from me and Dustin would go there every single Sunday and they had lovely prayer services going on, but also they have this like, these lovely grandmas that are making this amazing food and you just, you know, give a little money and they give you this huge thing of authentic food. And you're just like, oh, That's amazing. Gorgeous. I love that about Buddhism too. It is like giving and yeah, blessing everything and being grateful as well. Yes. Actually, I got a lot of my, um, oh gosh, I have some plants that I got there as well. I, lo- I love it there. I love it there. But yeah, so- there was a, a temple near me called Chen Rei Zig, and I, me and my best friend both went Buddhist, and we used to go and visit the temple, and we thought it was just the best thing in the world. <laughs> so you still practice? I mean, I apply the parts of Buddhism to my life, like, and I like that about Buddhism, that it is, like, 
you can take parts of it and apply it to your life. It's not a religion as a sense. It's a right. way of living. So, right. yeah, I mean, I meditated with monks in Thailand in, like, 2014, and I still do my own practice. And, yeah. I've always wanted to go to Thailand. It's amazing. I've always wanted to go to Thailand. Highly recommend. It's beautiful. It's a little closer for you. <laughs> yeah, it is close. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're closer to Hawaii, though. I was it really far for you because it was far for me. <laughs> was it? It was about a fourteen hour flight for me okay. from Australia. I, I think for, with flying time, it was eleven, but like okay. travel time. Yeah, uh, yeah. For full disclosure, the first time we've ever met was meeting in Hawaii. So it was, yeah, yeah, like official in the flesh. Yeah, I know. And all <laughs> I kept on thinking when we were separating, I'm like, I'm having a hard time coming to terms that you're going to be on the other side of the world. <laughs> uh. Was so hard. <laughs> you know what? I I don't think I don't know how much you understand how much you impacted all of us. Oh, uh, in this really? sense, like, you, like we talk, the joy that you bring into every single day is just amazing. Oh, uh, something to inspire to. I I like with. to have fun in life. That's for sure. I think that's important. We're here to have joy and spread joy and be happy, aren't we? Well, I mean, so here's my question. So you, you, you're doing all these things with the the rainbows, which I think is amazing. Your salon (laughs) is absolutely gorgeous. I love the, everything from, I think you have the, don't you have like troll doll? Yeah, we have troll dolls with rainbow hair and a candy bar and a castle and a drag queen on the wall. (laughs) (laughs) It's just beautiful too. But everything from that all the way to your house. I mean, it, I mean, to me, it's just absolutely beautiful. You're living your truth. You're living what brings you joy, but do you get a lot of pushback? Cause I saw, saw something on a post where it sounded like a neighbor was not too keen. Yeah, I do get pushback, um, on social media or to my face. Um, on social media. Yeah, I had one this morning, like, I was dealing with, but, yeah, people just seem to think that their opinion matters, and they have to have an input and try and bring you down, and this morning, someone said that I make them sick, and I'm like, are you kidding me? No, and I said, that is purely a you problem, like, that is your own homophobia of what you don't accept in me, like, just keep scrolling, but yes, I had a couple of neighbors unhappy with the idea of even the idea of my house going rainbow. So this is like a month before I painted it and they came onto my property at about 10 o'clock at night and I was about to get in my spa, the jacuzzi, and there were five men in my backyard um, threatening to kill me if I painted what? my house rainbow. And uh, yeah, was assaulting me like, yelling homophobic slurs. I I won't go into the words that they were using, but they said that they would come back and kill me if I painted the house rainbow. My. Well, one was being held back from punching me. What do you do in a scenario like that? Well, I froze up like a deer in the headlights and I was just like, are you joking? Like, is this, it's a Tuesday night. I'm just at home. I've just bought my first house. And you really don't like the idea of the color I'm going to paint it. So I pulled out my recorder and got evidence. And I just, I was in shock. Like, you just can't imagine that that level of hatred or bigotry exists. And then the guy that was saying all this lives directly across the road from me. So he's like my forever neighbor who's also just bought a house. And yeah, he'll have to wear that scenario forever because it's been to court since and justice has been served and he's been fined and there's been a penalty for him. But yeah, like two days later, it was on national news here in Australia, like really blew up out of proportion because of the homophobia that shouldn't really exist anymore no no yeah Mm. not ever but especially now like it's been legalized like we've done a postal survey here it's you know like 
we've, we're a progressive country and world. Like people just shouldn't feel that they have the power to tell someone what color they can and can't paint their house. <laughs> <laughs> or how they should live. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Oh, so, I yeah. keep on thinking as you're telling me this story. Yeah. And yet he persists. Yeah. That's amazing. That's Keep amazing. Painting. And with joy, no less. Yeah. And with good intentions as well. Like my house is never to be a pride flag. Like it's a part of me that I am happen to be gay and a part of the LGBT plus community. But as a result of his pushback. Right. of my decision, it turned into a community event where everyone in the community that's LGBT came and helped paint the house and the paint was donated by a company here and we had a barbecue and it was a really beautiful day about a month after all that happened and it was quite healing for me to have that level of acceptance in a new community as well and just have people support and have people come and stand with you as well and with the LGBT community. So it's been a year and I I respectfully left one side of my house white for next door because they were really unhappy about it. But they stopped talking to me once the house was painted rainbow and they've been quite rude to me ever since. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to go and paint the other side. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. it's your house to do what you want to do. I mean, yeah, and it looked half finished. And I thought, like, why am I trying to people please these people that are just always going to be sitting in hostility and their own pain, which has nothing to do with me. Yeah. And you're not going to so, be the one that heals it. I mean, it's got to come okay. from them. Yeah. So I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> it felt great. Good for you. Yeah, because I thought, why am I leaving... Why am I dulling my sparkle to please someone next door that doesn't actually respect me? I keep on thinking, do you, I I don't know how, I don't know how you're able to kind of hold, like contend with all of that and still keep the kind of happy and um, (laughs) positive vibes that you have on the regular (laughs) <laughs> like not and not even just positive vibes. I for anyone that's listening, I the one thing that we like literally I could watch you walking across the the just walking across a hallway and yeah. you'd be in your own world, you had no one else around you, and literally every step you took was just like pure joy, like you were just happy, you were just happy to be there, <laughs> happy to live your life, and we're in the moment, like experiencing the moment it wasn't like you know yeah trudging along thinking about the next thing we got to do you were there you were present yeah (laughs) how do you do that because i (laughs) think that in my life (laughs) you've got to yeah not let the exterior world affect you hey i mean that goes back to buddhism doesn't it like you don't have control (laughs) over other people but you only have control over how you feel so you've just got to kind of stay in your Zen bubble and be, yeah, be grateful for every moment that we have. And just, you know, it was hard, especially around that time. Like I was bawling my eyes out that night that it happened. Oh, I can only imagine. I'd be terrified. Yeah, Horrified. And I was going through therapy and having moments of PTSD and just keeping it together. Um, but yeah, like hair makes me happy, like painting rainbows and making people feel good about how they look and how that feels for them as well. And yeah, just having a good work and life balance, I think as well. Like I got the beach down the road, I got my rainbow palace and then I work really hard during the week as well. Yeah. (laughs) Tell me about your grandma. How's she doing? She's good. I'm going to go see her this afternoon. She's such a joy and delight. I love her. So how does she feel about being a social media sensation? (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, well, Nana doesn't really understand social media, so I just told her that she was on TV and that everybody loved it. Because her and- last video got, like, three and a half million views or something, like, on Facebook. <laughs> and I feel like she's, like, become kind of our surrogate Nana. I mean... <laughs> We have her sweetness. Isn't she adorable? She's just so innocent and sweet. And like Nan is paralyzed, so she can't actually leave bed. So I think, you know, just bringing rainbow hair to her or just visiting and having a chat just brings her so much happiness as well. Like she's so appreciative every time I do her hair. She's like, thanks for making the time to come and do this. I'm like, of course. I have to ask, person. like, how did you first approach her? Or, I mean, or did she approach you about she having rainbow me. hair? Yeah, I couldn't actually believe it. She had just had a stroke and she was in hospital at the time. And she'd only just started talking again after her stroke. <laughs> and she just casually says, darling, Next time you come and visit, can you make sure that you bring all of those colors with me? I'm like, oh, okay. Like, which colors? Like, pink or purple? No, all of them. Oh my God. I'm like, okay. So I brought them with me. I had jars of manic panic and I just brought them and thought, I'll see how she feels on the day. Like, if that's still an idea, if that was like a spontaneous thing in the moment. And um, I said, oh, Nan, I, I brought the colours with me if you want your hair done. And she's like, oh, yes, I want a full rainbow, please, just like yours. <laughs> like, I okay. love it. <laughs> like before that, she only ever let me put like one little pink streak in, like when she was living in a retirement village. And that was like talk of the retirement village. So, oh, sure. Oh, Yeah. But so I mean, then, yeah. was she always a little bit spicy? Like she's willing to take these little, you know, <laughs> adventures with her style. I mean, she's a very stylish woman. Like she's always got an amazing like floral wardrobe and her couches are like luxurious and antique and red velvet and definitely stylish, but she's never colored her hair in her life. Like really? she had natural brown and then she let it go completely white. So it was like a big deal. Like I, d- I thought, what medication have they got you on now? Like, <laughs> what's going on? But now oh, she just God. continually likes it, and all her carers and nurses really love it as well. And she always says how much they love it, and she tries to book them all in with me. And so and, cute. Yeah, I think it brings her a lot of joy having that reaction as well like the nurses come in and they give her love and praise because her hair looks so beautiful and colored and I think that brings her joy in a day as well absolutely I mean it it is I think it's fantastic my my mother I'm sure she'll love me telling this so every (laughs) holiday for a little while there it stopped after a while but she was getting the um you know when Halloween they have the hairspray with the different colors yeah okay so she would do a different color for like you know the the holidays that we would celebrate thanksgiving christmas yeah um, you know and you know saint patrick's day green yeah. and, and easter so she would just spray it in her hair so that way it could wash out but it always like made my nieces and nephews just be like oh my gosh grandma <laughs> you know what's she doing now <laughs> I but I it. said to her recently, I'm like, have you thought about doing that again? And she's like, I don't know. Maybe I'll get back to it. Yeah. I mean, bring back her, 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 yeah <laughs> my, my dad passed. So I think she kind of like slipped out of that kind of playfulness. Okay. And yeah. now I think she's starting to get it back a little bit. So, yeah, but she was always conservative. Like she was not someone I- that no, that's not true. My mom's not conservative. <laughs> what am I? In style. In style, <laughs> she's conservative. As a human being, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> yeah. As a human being, she was definitely unconventional. But yeah. as a, as a style, no, very conventional. So it was always kind of a little bit of a treat to see her do something unusual. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. So have you gotten any other requests requests from any of the other residents? 
I or... have, yes. Really? I did. Yeah, um, another lady saw Nan in the lunchroom and she got hair envy, Jackie. So Jackie. The nurses, <laughs> yes, Jackie. And she she was quite young. She was like 49, but she'd had like strokes and aneurysms and she was fairly bedridden. Um, and she really wanted rainbow hair and she kept talking about it. So the nurses asked me if I would do it because they have a little hair salon in the nursing home. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, we got the family's permission to do it. And I went in and did Jackie and Nan's hair at the same time in the little salon. And she got a full rainbow Jackie and she loved it. And that she so great. hadn't been out of bed for weeks. And apparently when I got there and they said, oh, it, today's the day, she jumped out of bed. <laughs> And, like, ran over and, like, generally she's in a wheelchair, but she found the strength (laughs) to get up and get in that selling chair. It's a miracle! (laughs) Yeah, she was, like, ready for it. And we, yeah, we did a hair full rainbow and she loved it. Um, I did it twice for her. She's since passed away. But I'm glad that she got to have that experience as well. Yeah, really And have that joy. Yeah. So, I mean, I honestly, like, Mikey, when I think of you, I feel like every single thing you do has such a ripple effect. I mean, it's really just (laughs) about bringing joy. I mean, I want to be you when I grow up, man. (laughs) Gosh, it's amazing. You bring joy. (laughs) What the joy brings. Regardless of what struggles that you might go through with other people, you know? Yeah. Just know there are so many people that are just in awe of you. And and I can honestly say that that is every single person I ever spoke to amongst the Olaplex team. um, We just all absolutely adore you. And I'm so happy you're successful in bringing joy to others. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can I give you a tour of my deck in my house? (laughs) Oh my gosh, seriously? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Hopefully my Wi-Fi reaches. I mean, here's like a tree in the corner. I love it. Now, this is your kitchen. house? Yeah, I'm in my house. Oh, my here's gosh. I thought we were in kitchen. your studio. Look at that kitchen. Good. All the cupboard doors. Where are you getting the inspiration for everything? Is it just like you're coming up with it as you go? Or are you looking at Pinterest? <laughs> or? Um, No, I'm just coming up with it as I go. Um. I'll take it to the bathroom. Oh Here's my, my new rainbow bean bag. Where is it? Oh, cute. Yeah, cute, right? Yeah. Um, I just kind of go with it. Like this one, when I did the bathroom, I was kind of like, am I doing like squares or stripes? <laughs> I love it. I love how the, the paint looks like it's dripping down. Yes, the drip. Amazing. Got my Olaplex in the shower as well. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Um, but I love the deck. I'll take it to the deck. The deck is my favorite. And the fence is like the whole community painted the fence in like two hours. And it's a Get long out. Deck. Yeah. Here's like the deck and the. Oh, my gosh. And I even love the chairs out there. They're perfect. Yeah. They're perfect. The curtain, everything's rainbow. Do you get to have a lot of company out there? I do. I have friends come and stay for Easter. Here's the long fence. Oh, my gosh. There's a little rainbow bungalow down the back. I love it. And then I'll take it to the front. (laughs) So do you get a lot of people driving by your house to take pictures and stuff? Yeah, people come and stop and take photos, which is super cute. That is so funny. That is cute. (laughs) Is that the side you just painted? Um, No, this is the side I just painted. This is the other fence I just painted too. I put that up oh, in between so me and my neighbor. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's the sign. Oh, see, it's perfect. Yeah, it's it just perfect. looked unfinished, you know, like it needed to be rainbow. Yeah. So I've got this little bench, which I'm going to paint rainbow as well. I love Found it. Found that on the side of the road. But yeah, this is the witch's feet that my friend made they're like mosaic oh my gosh i love that the wizard of oz movie like is that made of like a tile yeah they're mosaic tiles 
That is adorable. <clears throat> so she said, because this house conquered evil, it's like the Wizard of Oz. And <laughs> the Rainbow House is squashing the evil witch. <laughs> I mean, considering the, the um, I would imagine that this house is maybe something a little bit different from everything else. It probably does look like it just kind of dropped down. <laughs> yeah. Maybe dropped on a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what happened. It has dropped down out of nowhere and yeah, dropped down, brought down a witch, an I evil love, witch. An evil witch. <laughs> an evil witch. Yeah. And now yeah, Dorothy's going to go here. scamp around on the uh, Yellow Bick Road and yeah. <laughs> have some adventures. That's right. I really <laughs> want to get a rainbow brick road put in the, in the driveway. I just think that would be amazing. Oh, that would be nice. Like down the line, or you can get like astroturf that's colored as well, just like a rainbow lawn. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's that's some future goals. <laughs> I, you know, my my friend, I like I said, I was impressed that she was able to find a rainbow Christmas tree and like you know have that glowing. She doesn't even take it down; she keeps it up all year round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Why not have a rainbow tree around? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm like sitting here like, well, you know, we're, we're we're creating kind of like almost like a Pinterest board and we may or may not have stolen a few things from your house and put it on the Pinterest board to make yes, sure that I we love have it. it for the future. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny because I got to tell you, when we were younger and uh, she had gotten divorced, it was one of the first apartments she got on her own. And yeah. she's just like, it's, you know, a plain white, you know, whatever. And she's like, I'm feeling it. And I'm like, just go, go unpack it into the room. So yeah. I started gathering up stuff in her kitchen because you walk into your kitchen and up on her top of her cabinets, I made like, I found every single thing I could find was that was red, you know, Campbell <laughs> soup and this, that, and that yeah. and I put it in one section. Then I found everything I could find when that was orange. And so we had just random <laughs> stuff all along her cabinetry. That That's was like so cool. a full rainbow, but it was a I random love stuff. That. Yeah, but it was nice. It was nice. And it was just happy. Yeah, totally. I think, yeah, rainbows just bring joy. Like, you can't look at a rainbow and feel upset, can you? Like, there's something psychologically, I think, that a color coordination like that or a rainbow just lifts your spirit. Yes, it does. It does. It's magic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a hidden magical power in it. I agree. I agree. Well, with that being said, we're going to, we're going to skedaddle. And I think okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and you know look for some rainbows. I have my crystals around the house, and I think I'm gonna go find some crystals, uh, some rainbows throughout my house today. Yeah, you have an awesome day today, and thank you, you so too. much for coming. In. Thanks for having me on your podcast, and it was lovely chatting to you. And I hope to see you again soon. Yes, definitely.